So today we're doing something different. Honor reached out asking if they can sponsor a video, claiming that their new Magic 6 Pro has the latest and most powerful battery tech in the industry, saying not only does it have a 5,600 milliamp hour battery, which is more than nearly all flagship phones out there, but it's also able to perform even in extreme conditions with sub-zero temperatures, which, you know, got me to thinking like, okay, but I'm skeptical, can we test it? They said, yeah, so here we are. We have designed probably the most extreme battery test ever conducted on the channel, sticking their new Magic 6 Pro into the freezer in our lab and setting the temperature all the way down to a below freezing negative 20 degrees Celsius. Now, obviously we couldn't stick a robot into the freezer, at least not for very long. Like even the GoPro we used in there couldn't stay on for more than 30 seconds. So instead we connected a Bluetooth mouse to the phone and launched the YouTube app to do a video playback test at this extreme temperature, just looping the same video over and over and seeing how long it can go. And to be honest, I'm not expecting it to go for very long because the way lithium ion batteries typically work is as the temperatures drop below freezing, the chemical reactions inside of them begin to slow down, increasing the internal resistance to the points where they could lose up to half of their capacity. But at least an hour into this video loop test, the phone is still going strong at 95%. Now, we have seen phones like the iPhone over report on their battery percentages early on. And given the below freezing temperature that this phone is at, it's possible that that's what's happening here. Although Honor does say that the phone has the new Honor E1 chip, which is a dedicated power management chip that can actually recognize low temperature environments and then adapt how the battery discharges based on that data, which might explain why at the four hour mark here, the phone is still going strong at 76 but I think a big part of that also has to do with the phone's silicon carbon battery tech, which unlike the typical lithium ion batteries in other smartphones, instead of using a graphite based anode, this one is using silicon carbon. Now, theoretically, silicon has the advantage of having up to 10 times more capacity than graphite at 3,579 milliamp hours per gram compared to graphite's like 372 milliamp hours per gram. But Honor isn't actually using pure silicon here because while the max theoretical capacity is obviously really nice, pure silicon does come with a problem of expansion where it can expand up to 300%, which obviously would not be good in your phone and for the battery. But by designing a whole new chemical structure where they still use graphite as a base and then add silicon to cover its surface, Honor was actually able to solve the expansion problem while still giving the battery a higher energy density. It's something like 6% more density than on on other smartphone batteries, and it's how Honor was able to fit in a 5,600 milliamp hour battery in a flagship phone without making it any bigger or bulkier. It's pretty cool. Just like the freezer is here, where eight hours into the test, the phone still somehow has 47% battery remaining. This is way beyond what I expected from it. And at this point, I'm just curious to see how the phone will handle things as the battery continues to deplete, since as batteries deplete, the chemical reactions inside of them typically become less efficient. The voltage typically drops, and along with the freezing temperature here, it's still possible that the phone could shut off well before it even gets to zero. A lot of phones do this despite reporting plenty of battery because the calculations on that battery percentage indicator are usually based off of normal operating temperatures and not freezing ones like we have here. But four hours later, not only does that not happen to the Magic 6 Pro, but it's still going with 16%. So those battery calculations seem to be pretty accurate, which is probably thanks to that dedicated Honor E1 chip, which Honor says becomes even more important here in these low battery conditions, since it can better monitor the battery status and then adapt how power is delivered. Where combined with the micro tunneling laser guidance tech that Honor used, where they basically created more channels between the electrolyte and the silicon based anode, the phone should be able to better tap into the low voltage range of the battery 
and squeeze out just a little bit more power. Where the phone is able to break the 13 hour mark in sub zero temperatures, which is like super crazy to me with 4% left to go. Now the phone did something kind of interesting here where it automatically went into an ultra low power saving mode. And you know, when we try to take it out somewhere in that process, it fully depleted with the total time being 13 hours and seven minutes, which, you know, again, at negative 20 degrees Celsius, is pretty crazy. Now, I can't wait to do a regular battery test with this phone. I think it's definitely gonna be a contender for like the top spot in our battery test rankings. And really, I can't wait to see more smartphones follow Honor's lead and adopt this battery tech because you can only make batteries so much bigger before you run out of space. But by leveraging silicon carbon, that extra power density obviously goes a long way. In fact, it's what Tesla is doing now with their cars with a certain percentage of silicon being added. And you know, with tech like VR, already being too heavy and needing smaller batteries, but with higher density. I'm excited to see where this tech goes. I hope more people start adopting it. And you know, as a tech fan, I think there is a lot to be excited about. But anyways, that is it for me in this video. Big thanks to Honor for sponsoring it and letting us do this crazy experiment. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.